In this video, I will discuss about Live Zero Advantage. This is the solution to the dead zero problem. I will consider 4 to 20 milliamp as a range, and we already know 4 represents 0% of the scale, and 20 represents 100% of the scale. Okay, now I will go to the same example and consider level transmitter range is 4 to 20 milliamperes. Now the tank level is 0 percentage, so I will update the table here. Tank level is 0 and the transmitter sends 4 milliamperes. To the PLC. So transmit output is 4 and the PLC receives 4 and the computer receives 0% level from the PLC. So computer is 0. Let's say due to some reason the wire is broken. There may be a short circuit, there may be a open circuit, or sensor failure any reason something happened the wire is broken okay the wire is broken now we will see what happens to these readings The tank level is 0 percentage. The level transmitter status is 4 milliampere. Okay, because the tank level is 0, but the wire is broken. So the 4 milliamperes it will not reach the PLC. So PLC receives 0 instead of 4. See? The PLC receiving 0 milliampere. So, what happens here is the PLC already knows that the minimum value it has to receive is 4 milliampere for 0% process variable. When the tank level is 0, it already knows that it receives 4 milliamperes. But Right now, it is receiving 0 milliamperes. So, it will cross check, it will do the comparison that the minimum value I need to receive is 4 milliampere. As I am receiving less than 4 milliampere, which is 0 milliampere, then the PLC identifies this milliamperes this 0 milliamperes as faulty state okay then it will update the computer that this transmitter is in faulty state do not consider the readings so it will not update the readings instead it will update the status of the transmitter that there is a problem there is a fault that is why the computer status is faulty state. Okay, faulty state for the level transmitter. There may be a problem between anywhere. There may be a problem with broken wire or some short circuit or there is a sensor failure damage or some other reason. Whatever the problem is, the PLC displays it as a common fault state. Okay, the PLC compares the base line. The base line is 4 milliampere. It must receive 4. So, when we use this 4 milliampere as a starting range, we can solve the dead zero problem. Right now, the tank level is empty. Still, we are identifying the issue. The PLC identifies the issue and updates the computer. Then what happens? The operator 
sees this faulty state, then immediately informs to the maintenance person. They will carry out the troubleshooting. Let's say the tank level is 50 percentage. Okay. The tank level is 50 percentage. Tank level is 50 percentage. The level transmitter sending 12 milliampere to the PLC, but the wire is still broken. Level transmitter sending 12 milliampere. As wire is broken, how much the PLC receives? Zero. It will not receive any current. So the PLC receives zero. Again, same concept. It must receive four. If it is receiving less than 4, like 0 milliampere, then immediately it will consider the state as faulty. In this way, when we have live 0, that means we have to use some value. Instead of 0, we must use some value, some number. When you use some number as a starting range, then we can easily identify the fault. We can avoid the dead zero problem. Now we understand the concept. But there is one question. What is the question? Here in this example, we take in 4 to 20 milliampere as a range. Let's suppose the range is 6 to 20 milliampere. In this case also, we have live zero advantage. That means the live zero advantage will be applied to any number, not only 4. We can take 3 to 20 milliampere as a range. We can take 6 to 25 milliampere as a range. In the next upcoming videos, we will discuss clearly why the 4 is selected. Now, in this video, we understand that we must, at any case, we must not select 0 as a starting range. If you select 0, the PLC will unable to identify the fault. Okay, so to identify the dead zero problem, we must use some value. It may be a 1 milliampere, it may be a 2 milliampere, it may be a 3 milliampere, any value, it is fine. The live zero advantage will be applied. Okay, in this case, the live zero advantage applied to the 4 milliampere. At the same time, it will apply to any other number also. Okay. I will meet you in the next video. Thank you.